Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. You are watching Pop Rap. This is Jamie Scott from Graffiti Six. Hello. He says hi. It's that's English for hi. Oh. I was doing. I was being James Bond. That's not James Bond. Hello. No. Really? That's awful English accent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um. Yeah. I'm not English. Graffiti Six. Where did that name come from? After we had a four or five songs in the studio, we we didn't have a name, and we uh, ended up getting a book and just uh, closing our eyes and pointing to pages and words and pages and putting them together. My favourite one was Felix Beast, apart from Graffiti Six. Felix Beast. Felix Beast sort of sounds like a a, a really mean drag queen. <laughs> yeah, a little yes. bit. A little bit. Yes. Let's be honest. Maybe you can write a song called Felix Beast about a really mean drag queen. Yeah. And We're actually what, maybe that's already being done. I guess it's the perfect description for the album because it's all these different songs that are a little bit different but very much the same in a weird way. <laughs> I love that. That was that's one of the best ways I mean, you'll describe the album. All these songs are a little bit different but very much the same. I like that. I yeah, mean, that's that's awesome. Well, that's, and that's, that's that's basically describes the album. You know, on day one when we wrote Stone to Sun, we knew we were on something, but we didn't say this is what we're going to be doing for the next ten years of our lives or whatever. You know, but I think that after we had written four or five tracks, when we got our first sync with Stone to Sun, we realised we were on something really cool and having so much fun. We did say, wait a minute, we we need to get an album of this. You know, done. Tommy was heavily into you know people like Hendrix and was big into the old um, old school hip hop scene, dance music, and I kind of came from a bit of um, my mum would listen to a lot of folk music, so that's kind of the music that I grew up on. Stop, Mary. Where did that song come from? Were you peeing? Was somebody like ordering Chinese food? What, like, where did the? I was peeing whilst order, ordering Chinese food. Damn it! <sighs> the whole song is that classic. Um, you have someone very special to you that doesn't quite know that how much you feel for them, and uh, you need to let them know. Okay. And it drives you crazy. Over you is probably the one of probably three of the most personal tracks. You just get a feeling when you're playing something that something something special happens because you're going out to do a gig and you can't wait for that moment you get to perform it. So. Yeah. It's still about my ex-girlfriend, yeah. Yeah? Does she know that? Yeah, she probably she probably is aware of the fact that um, I probably wouldn't have had time to write that about anyone else. Yeah. That way. If she has Google, <laughs> she probably knows, right? If she has Google, yeah. <laughs> Have you written a lot for other people? I do write for other for other people. For instance, I wrote um, on the last Enrique Iglesias album with him. Um, I wrote uh, a single between him and Nicole Scherzinger. Where to next? Back to the UK to um, to go and plot our next uh, bit of conquering America. Wow. So you just go back home to co figure out how you're yeah, going to deal with Yeah, we have to have all our meetings back home. We don't have any meetings in America. We can't have meetings. Oh. So we have to fly back to UK, dress up and have our meetings, then we come back. Hello there. Hi. Hey, man. How's it going? Very good, thank you. Yeah? Just had a pretzel. <laughs>